guys welcome to my channel if you're new i'm kristen and today is flippin friday this first one is this bless our food bless this food sign this was from my goodwill outlet it was a dollar 49 i'm just going to give the middle a couple coats to cover that bless our food you could totally take that and sand it down which probably would have made more sense to do would have been a lot faster than 55 coats of white paint now i just want to use this rub on transfer of this horse i don't do it ton of horse DIYs. Uh, it did take off some of the paint, but I kind of thought it went with like the horse theme with like the clouds and stuff on the edges. So I was 100% okay with the paint ripping off. I don't think you can tell at all. I think it's actually, it looks like it's supposed to be there. Uh, the transfer came from Amazon and I will link it down below, but this was a few minute project and I love it. Next is a yard sale DIY. This was $2 from a yard sale. This originally was $10 from Dollar General. I've done these before. I actually probably bought one for $5 or something like that, but I love when I can find a good tray to redo. I did go outside and sand it first, and now I'm just going to be giving it a couple coats of this Waverly chalk paint, and this is in the color Snow White. I really thought this would take one coat. It did end up taking two, but no big deal. I mean, it's we want what we want, and if it takes 50 coats, we'll probably do that. I'm using this Chalk Couture silk screen transfer. If you guys love Farmhouse, run to Chalk Couture right now. There are so many great farmhouse items, especially this one right here. I've had this for a couple months and I finally figured out what I wanted to use it for. And now I could use this for a ton of other things. You don't really have to use the entire transfer, but I thought that this one would look great. So you just saw I was peeling up the side on the left hand side and that was only because I did not want the chalk paste to dry underneath. If you're using a larger transfer, you kind of want to do that just to make sure that once you peel everything up, you don't have some really faint chalk paste uh, left on your project. So I just kind of started peeling up a little bit of what I started and then this one kind of, it took a little bit because I didn't want to mess my transfer up, but I love the way this one turned out. It is my favorite. It did not take a ton of time to make and I want to say this is probably honestly one of my favorite things I have done. Now, if you are not into the Chalk Couture, they do sell fabric that would be super cute, kind of like the farmhouse theme from Dollar Tree. These tag signs were $1.49 from the Goodwill Outlet, and I'm using the color Antebellum Blue, and this is by Dixie Belle. So Dixie Belle sells a mineral chalk paint or a chalk mineral paint, and it just goes on so nice. This actually only needed one coat. I did sand these down just a little bit, and then I realized I was going to use a chalk paint, and normally with the mineral chalk paint, it goes on pretty well where you don't need that second coat. Just depends on what color it is with this one, only one coat, which is amazing. And this stuff has lasted me years. I wanted to do a, another Chalk Couture silk screen transfer. And I know they can be pricey, uh, but when you can find them on sale and when they're like going out of stock or they're getting rid of them, they are dirt cheap, like under $5, sometimes even under $3. Uh, so you just gotta kind of keep an eye out for their sales, but I've never used this one. I had to use it and I just wanted to use this little hello and it is actually supposed to look like that. So it looks like it's not, but once I went back and looked at my transfer, 100%. Uh, this is super cute. I just decided to leave it as is. I was gonna add some more things to it and I'm like, you know what? I like plain and I like simple. So I just grabbed some Dollar Tree rope, tied a knot, and I just glued this together. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this yet, but I just love it. And it only took a few minutes to put together. I'd say a few, but probably 10. Uh, but this is what it looks like when it is done. And I think it is absolutely adorable. I love that I kind of used some rope for this one. Uh, let me know what you guys would do with this. Maybe put it in a wreath. I think that could be really cute. This a cutting board, it says something about wine on one side and plain on the other. I did just kind of sand it down just a, a little bit and I really, really, really wanted to keep it that plain wood, but of course I went ahead and painted it, which I'm glad I did. So I was kind of having some huge regrets uh, after I was painting it and I'm like, I don't know, like, is it going to look good? Who knows? Also using a Dollar Tree crate and painting this bad boy white as well. I did end up scuff sanding the uh, cutting board. 
And it probably didn't need that scuff sand since it is like bamboo and things don't stick to bamboo uh, like they should. You could probably seal it first, then add some paint. But I noticed that when I was adding this rub on transfer, it was not going on that gray on the parts that I scuff sanded. So uh, don't do that because you're going to see where I messed up. You can see the top right there and it was missing. This is like a little windmill. Is this a windmill? How come sometimes when I do videos, I don't know what I'm talking about or I can't find the words. And then later on, I'm like, how did I not know what that was? Uh, but I did just kind of stick that little piece of that rub on transfer back and then it just glued the crate right to the bottom. And then I just ended up, I could have left it as is, but I wanted to add a couple beads in a bow. And then I, to make the bow just like a little bit extra, I just kind of wound up some twine and tied it together. Uh, but I really wanted some beads at the end of this. I thought this was cute. These little cow beads are from Amazon and that rub on transfer is from Dixie Bell, which I will link all of that for you guys. But this is what it looks like when it is done. I think it is actually adorable. I think it turned out great for having a few little minor issues. And I did just add two little terracotta pots to the bottom of this. You could add whatever you choose, but this is kind of what I had on hand. And I think it is absolutely adorable. If you don't know, I am from Michigan. Normally, I love all and anything Michigan except this frame. This just was not anything that I would set up. I don't really have picture frames like this in my home. So, but I was like, it has a pretty good base. We're going to have to go ahead and use this. So, I am painting it over in white, of course, because what is farmhouse decor without adding a ton of white and a ton of black, right? Uh, so once that was done, this silk screen transfer is from Dixie Bell and I'm pretty sure they still have them, but honestly, these Dixie Bell transfers have lasted me for years and they're amazing. They're starting to not stick down, but I think with some tape on the edges, it would be okay. Uh, but I want them to last as long as possible because they have just such a they're just so beautiful and they're so pretty. I'm just adding some greenery to the top along with some felt flowers and some lavender. And that is all I did for this project. I'm not really sure where this greenery came from. I think it came from a yard sale or it could have came from Michael's or possibly the dollar spot at Target. It was one of them but I'm not sure. Felt flower, that is from Chalk Couture. And then of course, some little lavender pieces. I have a million of these laying around, so I can just add them to literally everything I own. And that is it, you guys. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you continue sticking around and subscribing. Next week, there will be no Flippin' Friday, but I will update you at a later date and let you guys know why. But that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.